Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday and it has been so long since I vlogged, but my vlog just uploaded. I'm trying to find like a good upload schedule. I feel like that's like a normal thing for YouTubers, but my schedule is like so random that I just like post whenever I want to. I think I hear my mom watching my vlog downstairs. What are you doing? Are you watching my vlog? A supportive mother. All right, so yesterday I went to the Japanese market and I bought this tea and it's so trippy because it's clear, but it said it was peach flavored and I don't know what morning tea means, but we're gonna try it. I like it. It's like a light peach flavor. I'm into it. Oh, that's so weird that it's clear. It's tripping out. The heavens have spoke and they have brought us the brown bread from Cheesecake Factory. All right, made some avocado toast with the brown bread and some egg with chili flakes on it and then some papaya. Happy Tuesday. This is my gym OOTD. I have this crop top from Hurley. I'm a huge fan of like the built-in bras slash camisoles. I feel like they're more um, socially acceptable to wear in public. So I can go to the grocery store after this and then just some Lulu leggings. I smell like so much sweat. I just finished yoga, which explains why I have a tomato face. I am drenched. I literally sweat like a gallon of sweat that my fingers turned into prunes. I can't see it that much anymore. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna meal prep this week. I've been working out like every day for the past like two weeks. And so I'm really motivated, but I've been eating like absolute trash. I don't know what the saying is, but it's like 20% workouts and 80% eating healthy. So I used to meal prep in college just because it was convenient. But I have this like favorite recipe. It's just chicken, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. And it's like a sheet pan recipe. So you put everything on one pan and you just throw it in the oven and it's so easy. So I'm gonna start doing that again. My main motivation is because I'm going on vacation in like a month and I need to look somewhat decent in a bathing suit. And your girl summer body just never came. So you guys, I I'm shooketh. This Whole Foods is huge. I look like a small bean. So I just got home from grocery shopping. I took a shower and now I'm sleepy and it's literally 5.30. I think I'm gonna eat dinner first and then I'll do like the meal prep stuff after dinner. I came home and I got a PR package. This is not sponsored, but I thought it was really cool. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm breaking out right there. See this little guy? Yeah. And Clean and Clear came out with their new line and they have some pretty cool stuff that I've like never seen before. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm so in love with this packaging because it's all black and I love black. So they gave me some face wipes, some calming lavender face cleanser, a cooling mint pore cleanser, gel moisturizer. I definitely need this because I have combo skin. Wow, a charcoal cleansing bar, peppermint toner. I am so fascinated by these spot patches. So I guess you literally just put the patch on your pimple and then you leave it overnight and you just take it off the next morning. Let me tell you, we are evolving. A peel off mask. I'm definitely interested in using this. It's like an anti shine stick. So you could put it on um, before your makeup or wear it without makeup. A blackhead coffee scrub. And then lastly, ooh, cleansing pads. Hello again, you guys. So now I'm gonna start meal prepping. I usually get my meal prep ideas off Pinterest. They have a book. Do you have to go outside, Kona? Okay, mommy will take you outside. So we're back. They have a bunch of meal prep ideas that are actually really, really good. So I have a bunch of like folders up, um, but I made one for healthy recipes. Within that, you can make sections. So I did a meal prep one. And then I saved this one. It is my favorite. You only need three main ingredients. Um, oh my God, look at the cute puppy. Okay, <laughs> I will link it down below so you guys can try it. Seriously, I would recommend this recipe if you guys are starting out doing meal prepping. I think that my total when I was checking out the grocery store was maybe like $13 max. This meal makes around like four to five meals. I'm basing it on how you portion it. So it ends up being like $3 per meal, which is like so much cheaper than going out to eat with your friends. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. So all you really need is three sweet potatoes, a head of broccoli, about 1.4 pounds of boneless, skinless, chicken breast, some olive oil, and then just some seasonings. So on the recipe it calls for garlic powder, 
water, cumin, lemon pepper, pepper, and salt. This is actually a lot of seasoning. I usually like to take what the recipe calls for and either cut it in half or just don't use it at all, but it is totally up to you guys. As you could see, my cutting skills are not the best, but to each their own. <laughs> I put the sweet potatoes on this first pan that's lined with foil, and then I pretty much just eyeballed the ingredients. So I did like a tablespoon of olive oil, and then just did a little bit of pepper, and then some garlic powder, and then I left out the salt, and I left out the paprika. And then you're just gonna throw it in the oven. It's supposed to be at 425. I prepped the broccoli, I did a tablespoon of olive oil, and then a hint of lemon pepper, and then you make room in the middle because you're going to put the chicken there. Alright, so this is what it looks like, and I'm going to throw it in the oven. So I set the timer for a total of 35 minutes, and then around 25 to 22, you're supposed to throw this one in. Alright, everything looks good. These smell so good. I will say that I think I should have bought more broccoli. So I have finished meal prepping and portioning everything. So like I said, it came out to four portions, and I got these containers from Amazon, and they came in a pack of 15. They're pretty reasonable. I'm just I'll put these covers on and then just throw it in the fridge. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday and I went to work out this morning at Core Power. No surprise there. But I came home and I was like, I'm gonna try one of these. It's a nectar wellness shot. It's like cold pressed and I got it at the Roxy Run. I've never taken like a ginger shot or like those wheatgrass shots ever. So this is gonna be interesting. Initial smell, not bad. Oh, that's really sour. It really gets the back of your throat. <clears throat> oh my God. <sighs> Big announcement. Um, today is actually my last day at one of my jobs that I've been working at for almost three years. I've been working at the recreation center on campus, AKA the gym. I've literally loved it so much. I've made some of my best friends there. It's such a bittersweet feeling. And now I have to get a big girl job. Bye, rec. Okay, you guys, I just finished my last day at the rec center. Honestly, I loved my job there. And I didn't think I was going to cry, but I'm kind of tearing up. Now I'm going to go celebrate with my family. And we're going to go to Disneyland. My pass has been literally blocked out, like, all of summer. We made it to Disneyland. Yay! We haven't been here all summer. Okay, for some reason, Kona does not like the fly swatter, and there's a fly in the house. You don't like the fly swatter, huh? We're gonna get you the fly. <laughs> it's Friday. Please excuse the half done hair. I was mid getting ready and then I was like, I should probably vlog this about where I'm going today and what I'm doing. Today I'm getting ready and I am going to Malibu. I'm actually going to a luncheon for Cupid Shoes. They're launching their fall line. I'm gonna be eating at my favorite restaurant out there, Malibu Farms. This is the look for today. I'm wearing a top from Brick Market Boutique. The skirt is from Topshop and then the shoes are from Cupid. And I'm running really late, so I'll see you guys there. Hi you guys, so last night I got back pretty late, but I had such a great time at the luncheon. I came home and I knocked out because I think I drove like a total of four hours yesterday, but it was so pretty. And they also gave us these cute goodie bags and they gave us a bunch of stuff. They gave us these highlighters. I'm so stoked on these cause they're like liquid with the eyedroppers. Normally I don't really use powder highlighter, but they gave us four different colors, gold, champagne, bronze, and hollow. I'm super excited about this hollow one. I've never tried hollow highlighter, but this will be fun. Some sunscreen, which I definitely need because
because my face always is the first to get sunburned. A cleansing sponge. Ooh. Oh, is it a konjac, konjac sponge? They're supposed to be good for cleaning your face. Um, and then a foaming cleanser. Cureless gave us, let's see, a cleansing melt. Ooh, a body scrub. Oh my god, I love watermelon. Aqua balm. Oh, your girl's lips are gonna be so soft. Hit me up, boys. And some sheet masks. Oh my gosh, there's so many in here. Oh, heck yeah. <gasps> yeah. Your girl's face is gonna be smelling like summertime. I'm gonna end the vlog here, and I will see you guys tomorrow.